Hey there, Sagittarius. Hope you guys this weekend has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys as always. Let's find out what the cards are saying, what's coming out for your highest good at this time. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius. Okay. Whoa. What is this? What's all these men doing here? We got an anxious man. We got an angry man. We got a scared man. And we got somebody longing for you. There's a bunch of people's opinions that's trying to get in the way of this. It's like quite an impact you make on somebody here that has got to bring all these energies into it. It's overall energy. It's overall energy. Acceptance. Learning to accept things that you cannot change. Like you're just in this energy where you're accepting something and it's almost like, so there's like, masculine energies that were not accepting of something here accepting of you accepting of this connection well, somebody wants forgiveness we acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love so this is like fully restoring and re because you're releasing things forgiveness is for you so you can move forward this Love interest of yours, they had to like let go of some kind of internal grudge that they were holding on to. And it doesn't have to do with you. It's something from their past that they were holding on to. And it's like these other masculine energies were like trying to come up against this by using like a this love interest past experiences. Like they were trying to get in somebody's head. Sagittarius. Beneath the calm exterior is often the hottest heart. So there's something here about there's something here about your energy where you are so you have you pack a part here. You you don't look like what you have been through. You're very soft, sweet, and kind, but you have an, a whole other side to you. So you have this calmness to you, but you also have this, this fiery passion to you as well. So it's almost like there's energies here being outed for their, their dark ways. So there's energies here that have been trying to make it seem like they are this calm, cool, collected people. But they're really like hotheads, like argumentative, jealous, just very angry. Love will come. Be brave enough to accept it. And this is what this person wasn't ready to accept you. They weren't brave enough to accept this offer here. So it's like this person sent out some kind of like prayer for you. And you came along and they, they didn't accept it. And these, ma these masculine energies have something to do with this. Sagittarius. Good fortune. As I am grateful for all the good fortune I have, more blessings flow into my life. And this is what you're, you're just in this energy where you're tapping into this good fortune. You're grateful. Grateful for everything that you have and you're bringing more towards you because of this. So you've just got energies here that are fully aware of what you're doing. And this is like a big clarity because of something that you're doing with your fortune. And you have sacred energy. Take time to clear myself. So make sure you're cleansing yourself. You could have an altar, or you may be thinking about getting an altar. Just make sure that you're clearing that, cleansing it. This is you understanding your sacred energy, and this is you taking time out and disconnecting from the world and seeing the bigger picture about yourself. And by doing that, you're, you're able to clear things out of your energetic field. And you're fully tapping into your inner child. You've been, you've been letting your inner child pull out that creative, imaginative energy within, within you. And you have restored so much healing within your inner child because you've done the work. I embrace my past knowing that has made me the person I am today. So this is you just embracing who you are. Fully understanding the past does not define who you are. It has sharpened you into this warrior that you are at this time. But this is just embracing you, embracing your journey, wearing your scars with honor. No longer running from self, no longer playing things small anymore because you're not small. This love interest of yours has some inner child healing that they needed to work on. That's why things played out the way it did. Let me 
to hit one for Sagittarius. So it's almost like these masculine energies is somebody that this love interest of yours may look up to or just may confine in. Trust in the places you feel guided to go towards. Space, time, and self. This is you fully understanding something about your reincarnation. You may be called to go in certain areas or travel to certain places. There's a reason for that. So this is you fully understanding things about the 5D. This is you fully understanding things about... Just This is like fully understanding everything in life. Like seeing outside of the matrix. Just seeing life differently. Sorry guys, my cat. So this is like... You feeling guided to go in certain directions and certain places, and there's a reason for that. Whether you're meant to connect with people and meet people, or there's something from a specific place that you are also receiving some kind of knowledge or enlightenment for yourself. So trust where you're being called to go. Find those who inspire you to bloom, grow together, community, connection, reciprocity so this is what you're doing you want to be around people who inspire you not tear you down now this energy this love interest of yours is around people that try to pull them back because they are pulled back themselves so this is the type of energy that will will try to keep you stuck as well this is getting around better communities this is wanting better connections and this is disconnecting from the ones that are not giving us that energy that we're giving to them this is like releasing those and letting go and making room for new <clears throat> Sagittarius expect powerful change so there's definitely some big powerful changes coming through you've already been making powerful changes there's definitely some kind of changes when it comes to your good fortune here and there's powerful changes coming towards you with this love interest. Look at the bigger picture. There you are, Sagittarius. These other energies could have strong Sagittarius placements, but somebody had to look at the bigger picture. Somebody wasn't getting the bigger picture, and they're starting to see it now. Slater, hey, stop. Sorry. <laughs> um, somebody, seriously, dude? Somebody um, needed to look at the bigger picture and see something for what it was. All right, Slater. Um, hey, Psst. thank you. Okay, so somebody didn't want somebody to look at the bigger picture. Somebody was trying to do everything to get somebody not to look at the bigger picture. You've been learning to like really ground your energy, really learn how to connect. You could have strong Pisces placements or these energies do. You've got this person that's really been reflecting and they're contemplating to come towards you. Somebody told this person that nothing good will come out of this. This person may have already had this type of mindset. And these other energies impacted it more. You had to show the world the real you. You could have strong Aquarius placements or this these people could do. Could do. That didn't sound right. Um, you're showing the world the real you. And that's... You had to show the world the real you for something... To, for the clarity to be restored. And it all has it. This love interest hasn't fully been showing their, their, their authentic self. It's like they've been watered down by others around them. Or they could have just watered themselves down through their past experiences that they've been through. Communication is key. Could have strong Gemini placements. These people could. Something about communication, conversation. Somebody is fully aware that they have to communicate in order to bring something together. Tell me about this nervous, anxious man. So first off, you make this love interest anxious. And somebody tried to tell this person to be anxious about you. Tell me about this. That is the truth. That is the truth, what I just said. And there's some kind of clarity coming out now. And it's making somebody nervous that made somebody look at you differently. This connection differently. Man, it's almost like this person... This love interest has got some clarity about you and they're more nervous about you because there's something about your energy that's very powerful, just who you are. Tell me more about nervous. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody tried to make it... Okay, so somebody tried to tell this person to be 
nervous of you because you only wanted them for what they had. They like you were going to use them. You didn't like you were just after something that they had is what somebody tried to tell this person. And this person could have just already thought that because they were very skeptical of you. There's something about your looks that makes this one skeptical of you. That's how attractive you are. So you just made them nervous. Now there's something here about your, you have some kind of game with your good fortune that is making somebody nervous because of what they said about you was false. And if this person, your love interest thought that this is what you wanted from them, your good fortune is like giving them clarity to show them that that's not what you wanted. You had true intentions towards somebody. Five of Wands, I'm telling you, somebody is fully aware of the drama that they've created. They're very anxious. And somebody caused some kind of drama, told somebody that something would be drama if they came towards you or just it wouldn't be good. So somebody got somebody to walk away from you. This is a very detached type person that told this person to, to be aware of you. You're evil, you're wicked, you're dark, is what somebody tried to paint you out as. This relationship's forbidden. Don't go towards this person. Don't go into union with this person. It's dark. It's like someone could have said that you were doing like witchcraft and spell, like that's the same thing, witchcraft on them, that you were like, they, that they only felt the way that they feel because of witchcraft is what somebody tried to make somebody think about you. <laughs> Tell me about angry. Why is somebody angry? Ooh, so you've got this person that's upset that they didn't reciprocate something to you. They didn't speak on something. They didn't like extend the offer back to you. I feel like this person, if they thought that spell work was involved, they're realizing it wasn't and it's making them angry. Like they're mad. They're mad about that they listened to others or listen to their internal self. They're mad about that. There's somebody like, and there's also a masculine energy that is upset and angry because I just heard, I can't talk any sense into you. So it's like somebody is like well aware that this person is still wanting to come towards you. Somebody's changing something up and there's another outside influence that's angry because somebody is changing something up. Somebody feels like you are destined to be in a connection together. And somebody is definitely, definitely getting, getting over their, their doubtful energy and wanting to come towards you. And somebody is so upset that they could not manipulate and, and stop somebody from coming towards you. Man, somebody is angry. And you're just over here just... Committed to self, to your growth, you're, you're mastering something within yourself and your, your craft, your, your finances. That's what you've been working on. Somebody wants a commitment with you and somebody is angry because of this. Somebody wanted you to be looked at as something, again, dark, not good. Somebody manipulated and did everything they could to try to stop this. And if somebody tried to say that you put spell work on them, somebody's realizing that that's not what happened you're the star you're over here leveling up attracting wish fulfillments towards you so this person like so this love interest is upset because they view you as the star like you're just destined for great things and they're angry because they fumbled you they listen to others and they're coming towards you wanting to offer love you make this person nervous There is an angry outside influence that is mad that somebody still wants to come towards you and offer love because somebody told this person to put their guard up and, and somebody's upset that it didn't work. Somebody tried to, to, to strategize against you and make it seem like you were deceptive. And, but somebody is still trying to figure out how to come towards you and somebody's angry because of this. Time out this guarded energy. So this person was guarded. And somebody 
said something to this person to make them feel more guarded. Sorry about that. Guarded. Yeah. Something's been illuminated. Something has now been illuminated within this person, this love interest of yours. They, they've they illuminated something within themselves. And then something's being illuminated about why this person should have been guarded to you. Something, the truth is being exposed. Tell me more about guarded. You know, somebody held back from this relationship because they were guarded and somebody told this person to hold back. Tried to put somebody in denial. Tried to create blockages. Tried to stop something here. Told some told somebody to, to stay in, like, single. Don't go towards this person. This person may have had a certain type of lifestyle where they just stayed in this single energy. They decided to stay single because they were guarded. Like, it's like this person had to see you in your independent energy here. And somebody definitely sabotaged this. This person, like, like limiting self-belief sabotaged this. And then someone else around this made it easy for this person to sabotage it. This person wants to invest into you. They had to see you invest into yourself to get the bigger picture. And this person doesn't want this to be a misconnection. This is somebody who looks at you as somebody who's very significant. They, they are realizing that you were meant to cross paths for a reason. That's what this person's realizing. And somebody got in this person's head and, and tried to get them to fumble you. Or wanted them to fumble you because technically they have because you're not connected right now. Talking about longing, missing you. So you got this person missing you. Yeah, look at you, because you're the queen of cups. Somebody who radiates nothing but love. You're a nurturer. You're very kind, empathetic. You've been over here sharpening your skills. You've been creating boundaries in your own life. Like, you're not letting anyone have access to you. And this is what this person, it's like they needed to see you do this. To understand you. Understand the connection in themselves, even. So this person is like, misses your energy that you gave them. Like it's very nurturing. Tell me more about longing. This one is, is, is sad right now. They're hurting. They're upset that they let others interfere. This person's been through some awakening. Like they're shifting their perspective. They're looking at things differently. You got them looking at everything differently. Trying to figure out the, the best way to, to approach you because you knocked them off balance. This person could have been committed to something else at the time when you encountered each other. They still could be. You're teaching this person something. This person could be some kind of teacher, but you're 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 teaching the teacher. Teacher and student dynamic here. And this person is like no longer giving attention to things that they once were before. They're fully, you fully got this person's attention. And this person is wanting to like remove some kind of confusions. After the illusions have been removed, they're wanting to come in and restore something by communicating. They see you. They, they look at you as somebody who's getting away from them, and it makes them nervous. They have been really observing you in the background. This person looks at you as a high priestess. You, this person is like fully aware of the ending, like the way something ended, the way something played out. You've definitely made this person go through some kind of rebirth. And this person definitely is, your silence is very strong. You've been over here, again, developing something within your skills here. Because you're a, some kind of high priestess. So you are just been developing and unlocking things within self. And this person has been learning and guiding. The guidance that they're receiving is for them to fully understand their intuition about ending things around them. 
whether it's limiting beliefs or these other connections that they are dealing with, like learning to like disconnect is what somebody is starting to realize with themselves. I've got Taurus, air, earth, fire, fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, water, water, Leo, water, earth, water, air, Pisces, and earth here. Sagittarius. Unsure of your intentions. Somebody was unsure of your intentions. Somebody told this person to be unsure of your intentions. Like this person thought you was coming towards them for all the wrong reasons. And you had sincere intentions towards this person. And we got the karmic, the karmics around this person. Karmic relationship. This person's dealt with some kind of karmic energies. That's why they're very guarded. And they got, still got karmic connections around them. Could be a form of family and friends here. Somebody tried to tell this person that it's not for you. These karmics thought they were going to roll with it, stop something. But it was a risk. Somebody realized that they should have tried to, to stop something here. Somebody told this person it was going to be a risky situation, but this person's still wanting to make a move towards you. And there's these friends. So some of you guys, it's friends that were interfering. This love interest of yours may have only been interested in like connections there where there was no emotional, no emotion to it. Or this person could have thought that this is all that it was simply going to be between the two of you. Something's foreign. This this feels foreign to this person. So this person is like, they're foreign to your type of love because they've not encountered somebody like you before. And then you're just over here in your lane understanding things about your own journey where things are feeling foreign, different. Definitely going to feel foreign and different when it comes to this good fortune that you're calling towards you. Your money matters here is going to be so different to what you're used to dealing with. This person's just beginning their beginning. My cat's eating if you hear noise. This person's just on the start or in a little bit of their journey where they're moving through their transformation here. This person could be at a distance. This person still chooses you. They see you as commitment material. Heartbreaker. Not ready to settle down. This person was not ready to settle down. And someone could have told this person that you were a heartbreaker. This person's getting signs about you. Pay attention to your repeating numbers, your insects, your birds, your animals. You are never alone. And this is you understanding that I'm not alone. And this is also understanding like this person may have thought that what they were, what they were experiencing in the beginning was just a coincidence. But a coincidence. But... This person's realizing this isn't a coincidence. I keep getting signs about this person. Not on the same page. Arguments. There's definitely some arguments that are still happening. Like somebody is not on the same page. Somebody does not want to accept this union. Somebody's still got you on a pedestal though. This person may have felt that you were out of their league. This person loves you, flaws and all. They have great admiration for you. And this person looks at you as a unicorn. You're one of a kind. You're not like others. That's why these other energies were trying to take something away. So there could be some jealousy with these energies. That's why they gossip. They wanted to have a reputation. Told this person that they would have a reputation. They don't go towards this person. Something needed to be cut and cleared away. Some of you guys are dealing with a twin flame connection here. Not everybody has a twin flame. You are your twin. Don't let titles keep you stuck. This person had this careless whatever attitude, but they don't anymore. And there's something about your, your you just have this nonchalant energy to you as well. Because you're just, you've been learning to detach from your own karmics. And this counterpart of yours is learning to do the same thing. And you're over here rising up. Favorable outcomes coming towards you. 
you're just embracing your transformation with so much joy and positivity and that is bringing more of that energy towards you some of you guys are definitely meant to reach certain levels of fame and fortune for yourself hey psst, thank you so all or nothing this person that's coming in all or nothing they know that there's no gains to this why these energies that tried to come up against it are like nervous and upset and angry because they couldn't stop something. Sagittarius. We have earth energy here. You have a strong connection to earth, making you at great earth magic, making you great at earth magic. You are a pillar of strength with firm boundaries who demand respect in a very graceful manner. So you, you demand it respect. So it's almost like these energies that tried to come up against you have got to give credit where credit's due, whether they give it to you or they don't. But it's, it's, it, it, they'll end up shutting up for what they were saying because they can't say it anymore. And it has to do with something with this fortune that you're doing, your finances here. You have a, a strong connection to the elements here. Unassuming, you're outer, outwardly soft and gentle. Your power is in your silence. You are non-reactive and create stillness, stillness, making you stand out in the crowd. And there, I'm telling you, there's something different about your energy. You're very, you're, you're very, you have this silent power to you. It is definitely felt. You're not entertaining drama. You're, you've been too busy um, unlocking things about yourself. That's where your mind and your power went is on you. Because you've dealt with karmics before. You already are understanding about your karmics on your journey. Your counterpart is waking up to their own karmics. This is no longer being reactive to karmic energies anymore, drama anymore. And you have a past life with this person. Regal, seductive, and just a bit dangerous with Cleopatra energy. So strong you intimidate your prey. Ooh, a very strong connection to Egypt. So you guys have some very, very powerful, and I mean powerful lineage here. You intimidate this person. So this person may be used to the type of person that is used to like you you reversed roles with this person there's something about you reversing roles like this person likes to be this this power approach but you approach them with the power approach and it's like it's quite mind-boggling <laughs> oh you intimidate this person and you very well intimidate the other ones that's why they tried to come up against you because you're just intimidating and there's some jealousy i keep picking up You're an old soul. You have been around many lifetimes and have chosen to be reborn to evolve and carry your learning journey from where you left in your previous life. So you're very you, you you're very wise. You just know some things. So what energies didn't realize when they tried to to come up against you, say things about you like there's more to you than meets the eye. Well, of course you're an old soul. And a witch. Somebody tried to paint you out of something dark, I'm telling you. You have a strong connection to the universe that if developed through study and practice, you can live an empowered life that can bring forth positive changes. So you're not something that's dark. You use your power to make positive changes. That's just who you are. And somebody tried to paint you out as dark and you're not dark at all. You have power. And somebody like that tried to like say something about you is intimidated of your power that's why they tried to to make you look bad and you're young at heart the youthful energy in your eyes reveal a fun hidden treasure allowing others to explore their own inner child so you just you have this inner playful youth to you you bring out people's inner child you bring out their just their playful side you'll have a lot of fun with this person or anybody that you encounter because you just you're very playful and fun. You're very much in your mag magnetic energy here. 
You have a natural ability to make others come after you, possessing a powerful aura that makes it difficult to stay away. So you're just, this person's fully picking up on your energy that's like, they can feel it. You're very powerful. Well, you have a past life with this person. Of course, they're going to feel that strong pull. And a seeker. Your natural thirst for wisdom and truth elevates your spiritual journey and self-awareness to help those that are also in search of answers in their own path. So you're using your journey as an inspiration for others. You're, you're lighting a, the candle, the, the, the light for others. That's a beautiful thing. You're a beacon of light and hope for this world. And then your feelings. You can make others feel what you feel. Your energy inspires energy. Just be careful with what you invoke or inspire in others because it will come back to you. So just make sure what you're putting out there is what you want to receive back. So your energy is like, you give people like a mirroring effect. And you very well feel that. Like you can feel people's energy as well. So just, just be careful about stirring up certain emotions within people because you have that power to do so. Boy, do you. Sagittarius. Career success. I'm telling you, somebody had to see you in your success, successful era. Retiring, fulfilled, and accomplished. Finding success in your career. Work gives you a sense of purpose. And this is where you your mind has been, on your purpose. Very much focused on your, your success, your career path here. You're very fulfilled. This person could have some kind of accomplished energy to them as well. This person sees you fulfilling something here. Responsibility. Taking responsibility for your life, seeing your own faults, owning up to your mistakes. And this is what you've been doing for yourself. That's how we change things up is we take accountability for our actions we all do things that we don't like about in our past things that were not not our proudest moments but we're all down here to learn from it you didn't keep continuing and continuing and continuing you you learned and if you did have to go through more than one cycle you still pulled yourself out of it in the long run so just make sure you give yourself credit on that so this person may have not been fully taking responsibilities for things in their own life and you're you've made this person change that view within self life path one you are the trailblazer the leader you take risks you're just you're doing better because you're working on your own heart and you're drawing your romantic connection towards you because you're working on your heart so you got this counterpart of yours working on their heart this past life lover of yours so tell me more home and family building a loving home a strong sense of family obligation fulfillment through family so it could be like family dynamics trying to interfere here children trying to interfere you're building a home environment that you would have felt comfortable in as a child, and that's a beautiful thing. You're being that person that you needed to be when you were the little one. And you're changing things up so your future generations don't have to experience what you experienced. And we've got a spirit baby, lessons you learn from your child. A child meant to do great things. Some of you guys are going to create new children with this person. A lot of you guys were called to be parents so you could learn lessons through our own kids. So as parents, we make mistakes. We all do things that we wish we could take back when it comes to our children, but unfortunately, that's not how life works. So we learn from it. We do different, and we teach our kids to do the same thing. Tragedy. Tragedy. Tragedy helps you find your purpose. Deep lessons concealed in tragedies, helping others cope during tragedy. So you've been through tragedy, so you can help others show their way out of their own tragedy here. This helped you find your purpose. This is what threw you into your awakening. You get to a point on your journey where you can't take the pain anymore, and it's nothing but up from there. This tragedy has turned you into this beautiful person that you are.
resistance, feeling lost, empty, and alone, wanting old life back, fearing your transformation. So this person may have been trying to hold on to their old life, and they can't hold on to it anymore. And a lot of you guys may have been trying to hold on to your old lives, fighting your change, and then it, it can't be fought, fought anymore. When you're called to do something, there you gotta do that. You gotta be called to do it. If you're called to do it, there's there's no resisting it. This is your soul's path. This is what you chose to do here. And we've got the inner teenage soul that's been so somebody was letting their teenage self lead the way, and they were running out of their ego. So the ego death is removing the ego altogether, and then our teenage, our healthy, high-vibing teenage soul teaches us to go through ambition, teaches us to go after what we want, also teaches that, like, that competitive streak, but that competitive streak is now within ourselves and not on others. Burning karma. Burning off past bad karma. Step towards soul freedom. Advancing towards your true potential. I'm telling you, you and your past life person have had a lot of karmic, a lot of karma that you had to clear up from a past life. That's why things have played out the way that they have. And we've got a community that was trying to interfere. So standing up for the rights of others, deeply caring about the community. So you both have this energy where you care about community. And there was a community that was just trying to interfere with this. And we've got a spiritual team. Your spiritual teachers will find you answers. Your spiritual teachers will find you. Answers will appear by chance. Help will come with perfect timing. So this is, again, this is like being in the right place at the right time. So remember when you're being called to go certain places, it's because you're about to run into these types of energies. And some of you guys have already ran into these types. I feel like you were meant to come across this person to like wake them up and you've got them like fully understanding something now. They're fully tapping into their own spiritual team because of you. And you're just over here embracing your ascension here between the world and spiritual realm. Mastered living between both worlds can resolve conflicts and other guidance. So this is like you seeing beyond the veil. This is like mastering your 5D and your 3D world here. This is like resolving conflicts differently and just looking at conflicts differently here is, is what your, your enlightenment has done for you. Sagittarius. Okay, now we've got a scared woman. So, so we've got a feminine energy that also was interfering with this. So someone is up scared because somebody knows what they've done here. You didn't need any distractions at the time. That's why everything played out the way it did. You had to fully be focused on what you were called to do. And it has to do with your, your fortune here. Okay. Could have been siblings. These could be brothers trying to interfere. This is like jealous. I'm telling you, there's a lot of jealousy here with this masculines. And my feminines, you also dealt with some kind of sibling comp, comp, competitive energies. So these energies may have followed you from a past life. So karmics do follow us in, in, from past lives. They, they do that. So somebody is definitely jealous. So much jealousy about you and this connection. It's like somebody doesn't want somebody to have it because they can't have it themselves. And you're over here taking off new heights. Some of you guys are going to relocate. You're taking off. Some of you guys are quitting jobs. Some of you guys may quit jobs to relocate. Or this is what you're planning to do. So this love, this past life person of yours, like they're, they're quitting something. They're done. Like they're just done. Ancestors are guiding this person. The ancestors have been guiding both of you. The ancestors are definitely involved. These ancestors have been protecting this, guiding, give, giving both of these past life people guidance. Sagittarius. 
Somebody thought you were a clueless woman. So somebody's acting clueless, like they don't know what they were talking about, trying to like guilt trip, trying to like, trying to play the victim, trying to, to make somebody feel, feel bad. Like they're just acting naive, like they don't know what they were doing, but they do. These energies thought you were somebody clueless, but you're not clueless at all. They're just focusing again on these money matters. So money was definitely a, a big significance here. That somebody was trying to like downplay something because of money. And you're just over here just unlocking new layers to your own money matters here. Everything we spend comes back times 10. I'm telling you, you have transformed this person of yours. It's your past life lover. Of course you have. This person's going towards their high vibing energy. And this is how they're going to be when they come towards you. At that I'm telling you happy man happy woman these are two past life people that are fully understanding themselves and they're fully going to understand this connection when they fully connect you're so balanced you're so happy you're just chilling <clears throat> and you've just been embracing this journey where you feel you you're fully understanding that you're not meant to to vibe with with just anybody and that's okay there's just been a lot of Jealous, competitive energies that have tried to come up against you on your journey. And you're just aware of it. And you're attracting your person towards you. Like you both may have these energies where you just feel like you're not, you're just not accepted by others. And it's just done, just done. No longer needing to feel accepted by anybody is what you both are learning about yourselves. Gossiping. All this gossiping that somebody was trying to do to get in the way of this. And somebody's investigating something now. And they're investigating that you're a spiritual warrior. That you're a bad mother, shut your mouth is what is being outed. And there's some kind of contract that's meant to take place. And somebody's definitely moving careers, going towards a different career field. There's a change for somebody here. And there's definitely some kind of change with the contract that's like, this is like changing everything up. Changing your views on love and everything. Like this is what this union is supposed to do for each other. And this person may have only been connecting superficially. This one gets attention. You both may be just attracting attention towards you. You, This person's very focused on you. You got this person's mind in a, in, imprisoned. They, man, somebody did everything in their power to try to bind you, stop you, trap you, make you look like you're something mentally unstable, not all theirs, what somebody was trying to say about you. This evil eye energy. And all you're doing is loving yourself, doing things for yourself. And that is also shattering some kind of lies and illusions that were placed on this. Sagittarius, married with children, careful not to get entangled with an unhappy um, married, so so it's almost like somebody was trying to say, don't get involved, that one's got children, don't get involved, like somebody really went hard to try to slander something, could have been like a contract, like somebody still could have been committed to somebody else when you first met them, There's, there could have been a marriage for somebody here. There's a fairy tale romance that you have with this person. This romance will feel magical and it will be an exciting adventure and perhaps a happily ever after. Someone could, if there's not a marriage involved, sorry if you're in my stomach, guys, I haven't ate. If there wasn't a marriage involved, someone could have said that you were involved. Or, or someone could have just looked up something like to do with marriages or something. Common law union. You may have a relationship that is bound by love but with without the the marriage status so someone could just be living with somebody so somebody was definitely connected with somebody when you first met them intellectual affair 
There will be a strong intellectual bond and a love influenced by logic. Overanalyzing could be an issue, so you both may overanalyze things. You both are going to stimulate each other's mind. You both will have some pretty amazing conversations. Tell me more. Marriage. I'm telling you, there's a marriage that's meant to take place. You will either take your relationship to the next level or you will get married. So there's some kind of union that's meant to take place. And I did not see how that one got stuck in that pile, but here it is showing up. An old soul. You both are old souls. A search for balance and completion. Lesson, spiritual awareness, teaching, and then traits, wise, spiritual, detached, and deep. Both of you guys are deep thinkers. Both have a lot of wisdom. Both have been guided to be more spiritually aware. And you're teaching this person something. And we've got a soulmate. Your soulmate will come into your life to challenge you and help you grow. And it will be un an undeniable connection. And that's what this person looks at you as. Something undeniable because of the, the changes that you've impacted this person to make. They definitely know. Sagittarius. Healing. Got this person healing. And you've just been healing your own things. You've been releasing and by doing that, you're purifying yourself. And just continue doing things to cleanse your energy. Just do things to make yourself feel fully charged, as I say. So if you feel depleted and drained, come back and put yourself on the charger. <clears throat> and they've got this mask on here. Yeah, there's masculine energies all over this read. So this person's realizing that they're your masculine. In my masculines, you're realizing who your feminine is. And this person's aware of this now. And they want a second chance with you. Because they're longing for you. After receiving some kind of clarity. They needed to see some kind of clarity for what it is. Or get some kind of information and they're getting it. This person wants to nourish you. They want to nourish this connection. You both are going to teach each other to nourish yourself, your connection. You had to find self, grow self. You were focused on self. That's what you were called to do. That's why everything played out the way it did. And all that hate, all that darkness, all it did was make you grow that much more from it. This person cannot stop thinking about the last time that they saw your face or the last time that they spoke to you. This person wants to create new memories with you. This person views you as somebody very mysterious. Like you, they didn't expect to, they didn't expect to experience somebody that's so multifaceted as you are. There's so many different sides to you. I just heard I want to explore them all. Okay. They're, the energies that are trying to come up against this have been trying to make it seem like they ain't. They're trying to make it seem like they got somebody's best interest, but they're really just, they're, they're jealous. They're trying to tear something down because they're jealous of it. I might try to tell this person you're non, non-committal, forbidden. Somebody tried to tell this person you're forbidden. Someone could have said that you were promiscuous, like a cheater. Somebody really went hard to try to make it seem like you were just something of lust, and that was it. And if this person was only connecting with things that were only of lust, they're realizing that there's more to you than this, and they're realizing that they want more to their own life than what they're dealing with or were dealing with. Confusion. This person's been in this confused energy. They were uncertain. And there was other energies that were trying to make this person to, to feel uncertain about it. Because they tried to cloud this judgment of this person of yours. Somebody did not want you to be looked at as a divine feminine. This is your counterpart. So many illusions were being placed to try to stop this. But this person's thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you. They've been clinging on to the thought of you. They've been clinging on to the thought of a, a new beginning with you. They made a mistake. And they're now understanding something now. 
feel like everybody's going to end up realizing in the end that everybody made a mistake by trying to come up against this union because that's how powerful it is. So, all right, my beautiful Sagittarius, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love. TC Wednesday.